Hello everyone, welcome to today's video where we will be learning about cardiovascular system. Cardiovascular system is a transportation system of our body. The word is pretty self-explanatory. Cardio means heart, vascular means vessels. The three major structures that made this possible are firstly heart which acts as a muscular pump to pump the blood around the body. Secondly, blood vessels. These are the interconnecting tubes to deliver blood to all body tissue. And thirdly, blood, which acts as a medium of transport. So, what does blood transport actually? It is mainly to carry the nutrient and oxygen to the cells and also to carry the waste products away from the cells. So now, let's look at the chambers of heart. The heart is a muscular organ that contracts and relaxes in a rhythmic cycle. So when it contracts, it pumps the blood up. When it relaxes, the chambers are filled with blood. So there are four chambers of heart, namely right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle. So now let's connect the heart with blood vessels. The reason that I use two different colors is that uh, this is for you to understand better. Blue indicates uh, deoxygenated blood, which means that the blood is depleted of oxygen. Red indicates oxygenated blood, which means these are blood with added oxygen. The deoxygenated blood from the body tissues enter the heart through right atrium, then into right ventricle. As right ventricle contracts, blood is pumped out into lungs for oxygenation, which means to add oxygen to the blood. Now the blood has become oxygenated blood flows back to the left atrium and then into left ventricle and the blood in the left ventricle is pumped out through the rest of the body except lungs. As you can see here, you will find that actually the system is made out of two circuits. One links the heart and the lung which is known as pulmonary circulation. Another one links the heart with the rest of body, which is known as systemic circulation. This double circulation is important in keeping the oxygenated blood separated from deoxygenated blood. And it is also to make sure the blood pressure in the systemic circulation is kept higher than in pulmonary circulations. Our circulatory system is also known as a closed system which means that the blood flows only within the heart and blood vessels. So remember, closed system and dual circulations, which consists of pulmonary circulation, systemic circulations, which connected at the heart. 
So these are the terms that you have to remember. Artery carries the blood away from heart. While vein carries the blood towards the heart. So here, red indicates oxygenated blood while blue indicates deoxygenated blood. Now, let's look at the structure of the heart closely. So now let's label the chambers of heart. We have learned before, just now. So this is right atrium, right ventricle. So deoxygenated blood returns to the right side of the heart through superior vena cava and also inferior vena cava these are the big veins in our body remember vein towards the heart so the blood in the atrium is then pumped into the ventricle and as the right ventricle contracts the blood is pumped into the pulmonary arteries to the lungs remember artery away from heart. It is pumped to the lungs to allow for intake of oxygen and also removal of carbon dioxide. So now the oxygenated blood then returns to the left side of the heart through pulmonary vein. Remember vein towards the heart. from the left atrium to the left ventricle and the blood is that is then pumped into the systemic circulation through aorta There are also valves in the heart to allow that the blood flow in only one direction. So these are the tricuspid valve which are on the right side of the heart, bicuspid valve which is also known as mitral valve. These two types of valves prevent the blood flow back into the atrium or the semilunar valves prevent the blood flow back into the ventricles when the ventricle relax. Corda tendinae are like strings connecting the valves to the wall of the heart. This is to prevent the valve from flapping backwards. The chambers are also separated by septum in the middle. This is to prevent the mixing of the oxygenated blood and the deoxygenated blood.